Hello and welcome to the video for what is level streaming. I've gone ahead and created this quick example and let's run through these four rooms. We have blue, green, red, and white. And you'll notice that it plays just like any other game except for the fact that we were actually using level streaming and parts of the map were disappearing behind us or appearing in front of us without us even knowing. So if I go ahead and I'll run back here and I'll jump out. You'll notice we had four rooms, but if we look at the map itself, you'll notice only three of them are loaded. If we look at the top right, we will see map one, two, three, and four, with four not being loaded, no eyeball. Let's go ahead and repossess. We will rock towards the red room, and you'll notice map four will load, and it will be right here. When we walk into the white room, you'll notice map one and two disappear. And we can confirm that by ejecting. And there we go. So level streaming is a quick and easy way to work on a larger game in smaller chunks. It uses less resources since you're only loading and showing what you need to. And since everything is individual maps, if you're using source control or working with other people, people can actually work on different sections of the game at the same time and have it all work together uniformly. If you'd like more information, I have two more videos. How do I use level streaming with streaming volumes? As well as how do I use level streaming with blueprint nodes?